Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tiffany Murphy. At this hour, Southeast Texans are feeling uneasy as to what's to come with the coronavirus. The virus threatens our health and our livelihood during these uncertain times. Some are finding comfort helping others. Here's KFDM's Angel San Juan. Liz Oost is a nurse at the Joseph Rogers Southeast Texas Community Health Center in downtown Beaumont. She loves her job but admits it's a trying time for her profession. It's very rough. It's very rough because you never know what you can be exposed to at any time. Um, so the biggest issue for us right now is just making sure that we're doing the right protocol. That's not easy considering nurses are on the front lines of a battle against an enemy we still know so little about. It's more of keeping everybody safe and getting everybody the right information that they need to know. Um, of course, I'm, I have three different pairs of gloves, so I'm keeping myself protected, but also making sure that we have things out for the patients also to make sure that everybody can stay safe. But there's concern nurses won't always have what they need for their safety. That's why a Beaumont woman who wants to remain anonymous came up with the Adopt a Local Nurse program. Friday, Jefferson County District Attorney Bob Wortham and his wife donated $10,000 to jumpstart this initiative. Nurses are the backbone of the medical profession. Nothing can happen without the nurses uh, doing the interviews, contacting the people, doing the exams. So it's a very important issue that needs to be handled now, not later, not in the future, but now. It's a community effort to collect care packages for the caregivers. Among the supplies nurses need are masks, gloves, wipes, coveralls, snacks, and Gatorade. Erica Harris with Erica Harris Consulting, one of the first partners joining the project, which will be driven through social media. The nurse can post her name and her needs and you can connect because the idea is not to have a big people, big group of people gathering together um, because of social distancing and we want everyone to remain safe. The whole idea is connecting one nurse at a time. At the same time, the coronavirus is not just threatening our health, but also our economic well-being. So during these tough times, the owners of Albasha Mediterranean Grill are cooking meals for the community. Starting Saturday, they will serve 25 free meals from noon until one every day at their restaurants in Beaumont and Lumberton. Of course, takeout. They also plan to deliver to churches throughout our area. In My Beaumont, Angel filled Sanford. with hot crawfish. The Boardwalk Grill, a place for the community to gather with regulars and new faces. People want to feed their families and, you know, it doesn't matter what's going on, we still want to eat crawfish. <laughs> on Thursday, Governor Greg Abbott issued executive orders requiring all bars to close. Restaurants must shut down their dining areas with drive through and takeout still allowed. The order will impact Orange County restaurants at 1159 Friday night. So we just adapt the best that we can and we continue to serve our oil customers. You know, they support us and we want to give back and support them the best that we can. And we'll work hard every day and make sure that happens. Lacey Lemoyne opened this restaurant two years ago with her husband. They're still open, just doing things differently during the coronavirus pandemic. They will be doing delivery, curbside service and to-go orders. She says they've also adjusted the menu and are keeping normal hours, but staying open on Saturday now, too. It's definitely their livelihood is how they make money, but they're very important to our community, too. That's what makes us unique and have things to do. It's a quality of life. It Many people have reached out to the Chamber of Commerce. We all work together and do the same thing and support these local businesses and restaurants and shops. It, they will be here when we come out of this in weeks from now. Lemoyne says they will get through this despite the coronavirus pandemic. One small business is taking an upbeat approach, helping others in the face of uncertainty. News 10's Christiana Ford talked to a Charlotte boutique owner and has that story. For Keisha Howe, it all started with a dream. I just wanted to share my love for fashion with everybody else. That dream turned to reality just a month and a half ago. A storefront, Reflections Boutique in Charlotte. Things have been absolutely amazing. The uncertainty associated with the coronavirus leading people to head to the stores to buy necessities and think twice about fashion. The foot traffic has slowed down significantly. I do have occasional shoppers, but as more news comes out with this epidemic, I think people get scared and then they tend to stay home. Despite the decrease in sales, Howe's deciding to turn to creativity instead of fear. From my Reflections Facebook page, I am going to just start a live feed. I will hold up each piece of clothing, let them know how many I have and what sizes, and they can claim it right from 
the Facebook Live video. The state of Michigan is offering grants and low interest loans to businesses forced to close because of the pandemic. Brian Kelly, president of the Small Business Association of Michigan, says it's going to take a lot of creativity and communication with vendors and creditors to survive the storm. Call your bank. Chances are your bank is already going through the process of approving uh, skip payment agreements with people. Skip this month's payment, add it on to the end of your loan. How is now spreading hope to other small businesses in her area? I go to the coffee shop every morning, Evelyn Bay across the street, do as much as I can as far as like eating around here, getting takeout. I partnered with the Eaton Theater and purchased 50 um, kids snack trays, trying to get rid of people's fear, know that there is hope, absolutely, and um, spread positivity. Be kind. If you can help someone, please help them. In Charlotte, Christiana Ford, News 10. The Small Business Association of Michigan is lobbying for the state to use the business interruption insurance system to help those affected. Business interruption insurance covers the loss of income a business suffers after a disaster. Now, as it stands now, it does not cover pandemics, viruses, or government action.